I've got to find the center and radius of this circle. So I'm going to put it into completed square first. So to start off with, I'm going to make sure that the X's and the Y's are next door to each other. And then we've got to take away 4 equals 0. So the first thing is going to have to be X and it's going to be square. So I'm completing square. It's always half of that bit, so it'll be X plus 3. And that will give me x squared plus 6x plus 9. So I'm going to have to take away that 9. I'm going to do it all in one go. Plus, it's going to be y and it's going to be squared. It's obviously going to be half of that. And that will give me y squared minus 4y plus 4. So what I've done so far, I've added 9, I've added 4. So if I added 13, I want it to be minus 4. So I've got to take away 17 altogether. That equals 0. And so I just put it into my normal uh, form. And now, so the center is minus 3, 2. And the radius, don't forget that's radius squared. So the radius is the square root of 17. Now part 2. I've got to solve simultaneous equations to find out when this line meets the circle. So I've got to substitute y in there and in there. And that will give me x squared plus the y squared, but y is 3x plus 4 squared plus the 6x minus 4 lots of y, which is 3x plus 4. Take away that 4 at the end, and that equals 0. So I now need to multiply all of this out. So that will give me x squared plus well if you've got any doubts of not being able to do this go across this side of the page and do it over the other side 3x plus 4 times by 3x plus 4 will give me 9x squared plus 12x plus 12 more x's plus 16 so it will give me 9x squareds plus 24x is plus 16. Then I've got to add the 6x. Take away 12x. And then minus 4 times plus 4 is minus 16. Just be careful there. And finally minus 4 equals 0. Rearrange all that. So I'll get it all uh, simplified. 10x squared plus 18x. Take away 4 equals 0. Divide through by 2, because they're all even, so that would be 5x squared plus 9x, take away 2, equals 0. I'm hoping this is going to factorise. If it does, it's going to have to be 5x and x, and it's going to have to be 2 and 1. I've got to get 9, so pretty obviously 2 is going to be there and 1 is there, so 5x will hit the 2. It's going to be minus 2, so 1's positive and 1's negative. We want plus 9x, so the 2 is going to be positive. That's going to be negative. And so I get either 5x minus 1 equals 0, or x plus 2 equals 0. So that will x equals add 1, x equals 1 fifth, or x equals negative 2. And now I've got to find out what x is, oh, so what y is. So y equals 3 fifths plus 4, that'll be 4 and 3 fifths or x is minus 2, y will be 3 minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2. I'll probably give it its coordinates, so we've got 1 fifth, 4 and 3 fifths is one coordinate, and the other one is minus 2, minus 2. And that's question 8 done.